everyone, I'm Sarah of Verge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this solid shell stitch. Uh, shell stitches are absolutely beautiful. There's multiple ways that you can work them so they're quite versatile. So this is a solid shell stitch. It creates a fairly solid fabric but you still get that beautiful shell design uh, worked throughout. It works up very quickly, doesn't use a lot of yarn, and is the same on the front and the back. Today for this tutorial I'm going to be using the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarnspirations as well as a six millimeter crochet hook. So thank you so much for joining me and I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel which is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. And uh, then you can grab your yarn and your hook and we will learn how to crochet the solid shell stitch together. Our stitch pattern today, the solid shell stitch, is worked in rows. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make your slip knot. And then you're going to chain a foundation chain uh, with a multiple of six stitches plus two. So today I'm going to chain 18 for you. There's 15, 16, 17, 18, and that's our multiple of six. We're then going to add two more for our foundation chain. For row one, you're going to begin by working a single crochet into that second chain from your hook. So count in, there's one, into the second chain, work your first single crochet stitch. You're then going to skip two chains, and into the next chain, work five double crochet stitches. So this is the first of our shell stitches. Three, four, and five. You're now going to uh, skip two chains, one, two, and into that next chain, work one single crochet stitch. You're now going to repeat, skip two chains, and into that next chain, work five double crochet stitches. Skip two more chains and into the next, work a single crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across. And in your final three chains, you're going to skip two of them and work your final single crochet into that last chain. At the end of row one, you're going to chain three and turn your work. Your chain three counts as a double crochet stitch. For row two, you're then going to work two double crochet stitches into that same single crochet stitch down below. So into that single crochet, work two double crochet stitches. You're going to skip the next two stitches, which are double crochet, and into the third, you're going to work a single crochet stitch. Skip the next two stitches. Into the next single crochet, you're going to work five double crochet stitches. Skip the next two, single crochet into the next stitch, skip the next two single uh, double crochet stitches, and into that next single crochet, work five double crochet. Skip 
skip the next two, work a single crochet stitch in the next stitch. And when you come to your final single crochet stitch there at the very end of your previous row, you're going to work three double crochet stitches into that final stitch. That brings you to the end of row two. You're going to chain one and turn your work. For row three, you're going to uh, single crochet into the top of that first stitch. Skip the next du two double crochet stitches and work five double crochets into the next single crochet stitch. Skip the next two stitches, work a single crochet in the next stitch, skip the next two, and work five double crochet in the next. Repeat that all the way across. When you come to the end of your row, you will have your final uh, two double crochets and uh, turning chain three, which is a double crochet stitch. So you're going to work your final single crochet into the top of that chain three. You can then chain three and turn your work. And now for the rest of the pattern, for as long as you would like to, it to continue on for, you're going to repeat that row two and your row three. And that's all there is to working this beautiful solid shell stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. And once again, I invite you to subscribe. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.